All right, welcome back to everybody. I've been promising uh, to do a, a video on the Guitar Lab software, and uh, uh, I'm going to do that today. Uh, but I'm also going to do two another thing today. I'm going to give you an alternative to Guitar Lab software that I found uh, called Tone Library or Tone Lib or something like that. But we're going to check that out in a minute. Uh, first, let's look at uh, the Zoom software. So here I am on the Zoom website uh, for the G1X4 page. You would go to Support and Downloads and come over here to just download Guitar Lab for Windows. Okay, you would, you'll would you install that just like you would expect, everything very normal, and uh, then you'll eventually start it. And let me get that fired up over here for you. And here we go with Guitar Lab software. So, uh, hmm, no device found. Okay, well, we're going to sit here. Oh, there we go. So that's typically how long it takes. Uh, five, ten seconds, whatever. It will connect as long as you're all connected up. Now, the first couple of times I did it, it took a long time. I don't know. I had to unplug the unit several times. But once I got it to recognize, it comes up in about five or ten seconds like that. Okay, I'm go quickly as I can through this because this is not meant to be an exhaustive uh, demo or anything. We're just going to compare the two software. So I'm on the Zoom Guitar Lab software here. I'm going to go ahead and just max maximize that full screen and make life easier. So there's basically four sections for this software. Effects list that just basically shows you everything that's available in the unit right now by category color coded or you can jump to the categories quickly over here. Ah, what are these yellow ones? That means they're available but they were not loaded onto the unit by default. So you'll have to delete something on the existing unit to replace it with something else. All right, And then finally the power indication here on this column uh, lets you know how much power quote unquote is consumed by this uh, this particular effect and your limit is 100% so if you go over anything if your totals here get over 100% then you're out of the uh, that's where you get that memory overrun error we've talked about before okay so that's the first section of the guitar lab software the effects the next section is the patch section this is where you can actually you could rename or redescribe you can edit all of this stuff in here and uh, you can also also click and drag and drop patches around to reorganize patches. So this is a really quick way you could go and reorganize, rename all your patches so that when you're actually playing you can just patch up, 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 up for each song or for each you know, part of a song. So that's a good convenient use of that. Next is the editor. This is where you would expect to do all of your actual editing rather than bent over editing things on the unit even though that's not actually that bad just a couple of things I want to point out it would be easier for you to find your way around in here incidentally this loads in instantly whatever and it switches your unit so you probably can't hear that but my unit is actually on and connected and it is live switching every time I do this alright so I want to go through a couple of things <clears throat> on uh, on the interface up here uh, remember we have five effect slots in the unit so if we have five how can we have six things up here great question I want to bring your attention to these the second and third screens right here. Um, you'll notice the other screens have a type selector up here at the top, right? But this one doesn't. And you'll notice it's got a little broken arrow spanning two screens, whereas these arrows are complete side to side. This is their way to tell you this is the second of the two screens that you can get to in your unit for this amp model right here okay that's all it's doing it's just splitting out the second screen and giving it to you right here that's why there's six slots quote apparently visually up here uh, even though there are only five effects uh, slots actually there uh, to change an effect you just simply uh, click up here and you select whatever you want to switch it to and that's fine or you can just bypass it and that's fine anything that's pre-existent same thing just click and switch you know whatever uh, that's fine you're instantly switched now if you try and switch off this it's going to ask you hey you just made some changes do you want to you want to commit those changes or not uh, and you can just say cancel now the frustrating thing is sometimes you'll just be clicking along and it'll I didn't change anything but I asked, it thinks there was a change that was not found I'm pretty sure that this error right here is happening because one of the effects in the list is showing up currently is not found I don't know why that's the case 
but hey, for what it's worth. So just a couple of points um, to keep in mind as far as the interface goes. You'll also notice on this one, look, the processor is at 86%, so I'm okay. Uh, and I've got a couple of double page um, effects right here, right? <laughs> but I'm getting pretty close to being tapped out on this Resetic 1, whatever the heck that is. The final slot over here on the program app is just news feed from what's going on with Zoom. All right, so that's it. That's the Guitar Lab software. You have the effects section, the patch section where you can rearrange and rename patches, the editor section where you can actually modify and edit all of the patches and effects in your unit, and the news slot. Let's check out the other option now, which is Tone Library or Tone Lib or something. I don't know. Now, this company is kind of cool. They offer two for sale products, Tone Lib, Lib, whatever, GFX, which is an effects and modeling software. Uh, pay attention to this interface. You're about to see it again. And then Tone Library or whatever jam. I'm not at all sure what this is, but I kind of want to try it out and see what it is. But they also offer this, Tone Library Zoom. Now this is, as best as I can determine, a free application. You can download it right here at tonelib.tonelib.net. Scroll down to their home, bottom of their home page, download Tone Lib Zoom, install it exactly like you installed Guitar Lab, and this is what you get. Now this one connects, boom, that happens much faster if it finds updates and it keeps finding this. I don't know why it does. I keep updating it or whatever. This kind of drops you directly into uh, the editor, so to speak. And as you can see, the interface is much different. Uh, they give you all of the devices down here right you can actually and you, you can live edit everything down here uh, you can also turn off and on right there with just clicking that little light you can drag and drop to move things around right here which is kind of cool and convenient you can add and remove right click to change any of these effects just like you would think very slick little program here not super attractive in terms of interface but not bad you'll notice over here on the uh, on the far right I've I've got all my device lists directly available to you, all my effects directly available and as I select them you'll see some of them are grayed out but have that green double carrot well that means these are not again by default available on the on the unit but you could replace something else that you have on the unit if you especially want some of these uh, effects okay other than that uh, same same you can kind of edit right here we'll, we'll discard the change to go over here uh, so if I'm how would I you like how would I edit this well they put it all on one screen here so you can do everything on one screen edit your names your descriptions your patches your effects everything you can drag and drop and move things around directly over here so my money I like the good uh, the tone lab tone lib tone library whatever software uh, much better I think it's just much faster and easier to use than uh, the zoom guitar lab software but that's a good comparison I hope you like both of those and uh, we'll catch you on the next video take care